I'm interested to see the path of destination with this piece follow from Nine Lashes. You know, I, I've perused the lyrics in advance, just slightly on the first verse, and I wonder if this is going to take on more of a rock flair or sentimental vibe. The tracks you've heard tonight are more playing alongside the rock side, though again, I have very much an expert in regards to the back catalog of Nine Lashes. I've carried them on my phone for a number of years. I've been a longtime fan. And, you know, they've played around with a variety of sound if you're not familiar. They're, I think they do have general broad appeal to a number of tastes in the rock scene, because there certainly is variety. Music is a very subjective thing, especially on sound preference. And Nine Lashes, if you want a softer side, they appeal to that. If you want the rougher, headbangy stuff, as you know, I'm a devout metalhead, so that obviously appeals to me in terms of the more hectic stuff, that jives as well, I think, in a very strong manner with them. That's more so, I think, what they're known for, at least is what gave them a larger appeal in the Christian uh, metal and rock scenes earlier on. But I'm happy to explore it either way. I love Nine Lashes. It's an honor to spotlight them on the channel. I've been waiting to, you know, humor them for a while. I've had their tracks seen on my phone for a long time. And probably since, I think, like 2022, if I think back on this correctly. And it's been a, nearly a year later that I get to them. <laughs> it's funny that it took that long. Anyway, I'm happy to humor them as well. I'm part of my goal of not only bringing out music on a grander focus and coverage on this channel and exploring beautiful works of art with you, but also in sub goals as well, in spotlighting perhaps on an even note. You know, as much as I love many secularized artists, and of course I cover those on a more routine basis, I would love ideally to even out the field. And Nine Lashes is helping materialize that goal, at least in part, because they're, you know, a very prominent name in the Christian rock and metal scene. They've been around for a number of years at this point. And they've certainly got an audience that they certainly that they absolutely deserve. And it's an honor to call myself a fan. I mean, I, I truly have a wonderful experience in listening to their pieces, and even more so, exploring them with you. And perhaps if I can manage this, you know, planting seeds with new prospective fans, right? Of course, I welcome you longtime fans like myself, right? I love your company, but... For new prospective listeners who are maybe searching around in scenes that you didn't necessarily think you'd, you know, humor at one point, but you're looking for advantageous talents, I think you'll be in love if you've not humored Nine Lashes before. Perhaps you are with me as we take the journey today through uh, some of their more recent works. Granted, old in age, I know, I'm still catching up. <laughs> I'm not thrilled by how late I am, admittedly, but I'm behind on everything. That's a routine mantra with me. But I couldn't wait any longer. I wanted to listen to Nine Lashes, and I'm definitely in the mood to enjoy some wonderful works of art on the music side. And Nine Lashes certainly qualifies, and so far, generally, in terms of the singles we have that sort of equate to maybe an album's development, hopefully one day. Most of these currently unreleased songs, at least the other five, hopefully we get to hear, at least, or, or, um, I, don't, I don't know if that's the album officially, at least I'm looking at the genus website, they categorize it as Nine Lashes 5, the fifth album. And every single we've heard thus far comes off of that, including Follow and the subsequent uh, conclusion to our journey thus far, so as far as I'm concerned, a door is always opened, um, Among the Stars. So we'll get into that one in a minute, but we're on track number three on the album, at six in our uh, journey here together. Maybe upon, like I said, some of you are probably approaching on a first impression note, and you're experiencing pieces with me. I love the fellowship quality that music can have, especially as it pertains to, you know, particular genres of music in the metal scene. I think that's a very advantageous space for fellowship to flourish, and we can enjoy that together, especially as somebody who, as I've said many times, has a bit of an anomaly perception or self-perception in that none of my personal relationships have the pull that I do in terms of um, a metal influence in their lives. So I don't have much adjacency and connection on that note, but I do have plenty of you in regards to other artistic offerings in different groups, and maybe with Nine Lashes, if it isn't already an existing connection between you being a longtime fan and maybe you come from the opposite side and at first exposure, maybe an interest can be developed. You know, I love that about music. It really can foster a, a good relationship dynamic, if permitted. And I think Nine Lashes, in respect to what I've, you know, the form of uh, content publication I've run with here and bringing them on, I think it's an experience that we'll have, I would imagine. Just likely. But let's listen to Follow together and see maybe where this track goes in tone, uh, on energy. I don't know for sure yet. Again, like I said, broad appeal. Could go on the softer route, harder route. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the song as well as the visualizer to accompany, and as the pattern is t existent tonight with Nine Lashes, it's a lyrical video. So normally, if you're not familiar with my content, I do provide those manually so that you can have access to the lyrics if you want to read along the message first, and, and you know, for ease of access for yourself, so you don't have to go and run and pull up a separate tab or anything. In this case, Nine Lashes is ensuring that I will have these videos up faster because it won't take as much time to edit. <laughs> I am grateful. You know, I like, exp I, I, it does take time, 
but I don't mind expressing, you know, uh, full of effort artistry <laughs> when, you know, necessary. Um, but I appreciate a provision when given. And it means you can enjoy you know, the songs with me faster. And maybe, you know, I can plant some seeds in that respect. I'd love to. I'd love to have that opportunity, if, if realized at all, and, and if possible, to plant seeds of favorability towards Nine Lashes. Again, they deserve their audience, and hopefully you become a fan as well. If you've taken the journey with me tonight, I'm sure you're you know, bearing witness some really strong hits, especially on lyrics and music. It's just a great match. I can't wait to humor on everyone. So let's initiate with Follow. Great momentum here. Okay. I'm sensing... Harsher. Yep, we're building. There's the riff. Great path on that. Wicked snare, I like that. You know who it reminds me a lot of in pattern? Red. If you listen to their Declaration album, The Evening Hate, this sounds really similar. Different key, but same type of snares. Great chorus instruction here. And similar path and methodology of the lyric writing through the other songs. Nice return on that. Good break, it disrupts your um, feeling of where it's gonna go. Shake up on presumptions. You know, I enjoy inquiring again on specifically uh, Christian music, and it's funny to look at Nine Lashes and see the journey we're taking. The songs are getting more explicit in path, uh, in intended vision with time. Even though I'm not looking at these in the track order on the presumed album, I'm looking at them according to release date of singles. Great swing back in. Nice change up on that vocal tonality. Yeah, there's our return. And on summary, that oh, that's thick, chunky. I love it. That was a wonderful outro structure. Love that. Man, it's beautiful, isn't it? Fabulous engagement. I love Nine Lashes. Again, that, that is thick. And as I said, it's really interesting to see again the track order and the materialized vision on part of the pattern of the album. Perspective album. 
Familiar traits on, on music, of course, to Nine Lashes. Again, that's a much more rock-centric number. So that definitely falls in the pattern of the thrash metal that I love with them. Or thrash rock metal, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of, it, it's in that swing territory between both. The pattern of those riffs was very effective, especially on the structure. So thick and dark, guttural. I love that. It's isolated, too. It's not like it was a combination, necessarily, but it's just more a thick riff as the central navigation on the music side, of the pe music side of the piece. Lyrically, again, it's another one of these songs. This is sort of the commonality between all these singles that they're taking on that... Uh, well, they're either like a down downfall uphill journey or their state of humanity uphill. They're kind of both. And that uphill journey is the reconcilement, I would say, with the human condition paired to the spiritual uh, uh, correction. Because, again, these songs are very well written on part of being... Again, you can you can appreciate them in both spaces. Either they're very well written from a, uh, a practical perspective on emotion, or there's a spiritual reality. You can see it from both respects. And I think on blending to give a song generalized applicability, it, 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 I really like the way that they write their songs. And that's been the story, at least, of every single I've inquired on tonight. There's just such a good balance between the two elements and natures. It, it, this is, I would say, the most on point um, in expression with the human condition. It's it, it dips less into the... Not, I don't want to say... Figurative sounds like a bit of an exaggeration in, in lyrical styling. Um, playful in language. Individualized, independent in articulation. Something a bit fresher by comparison to maybe what other groups play around with, but it has a similar resonance. If I say figurative, it sounds like it's diving deep in like poetry. And it's not really, you know, it's not really a poetic style that they write from. It's just more independent in articulation from at least by examples I'm running in the back of my mind with comparables. This is the most direct, I think, or one of them, at least I'm in the moment I'm considering that right now. If it's not maybe the most direct, maybe it's a good comparison in some regards to the other singles we've looked at tonight, it's on even footing. It feels like the weight of the world has been taken away with the hurt, and you show me where I belong, so I'll follow you home. Again, like I said, uh, in this case, state of humanity or state of the human condition, uphill journey. That's the navigation central to this song. And it's kind of a mix between both. It goes the downhill, uphill path, or even footing, or declaration of state, and then uphill. It's a good path of navigation for the song, especially on giving these a bit of a hopeful uh, tone. Because some rock songs and metal songs, admittedly, might dip in the more dreary subject matters, and it might be, they, they kind of sit in that territory. Right? And hey, I like songs that kind of fit alongside that, that measure. So <laughs> I won't be a hypocrite in that respect, but like, oh, I can't stand those. No, no, no. It, it's a, you know, there's a real broad mixture. And I like that this song has, again, a, a, a beautiful envisionment in energy that is not coupled just by the lyrical writing, but the, the, the vision of the plot, right? To marry it properly to um, uh, the spiritual comparable, right? And the obvious inspiration. That if you're looking at it from a path of restoration, right, and you're looking at yourself and the lady, the the state of your life, whatever measure it might be, in whatever context you want to retrofit an attribution there, because again, broad application as far as I'm concerned with the song and the way that's written, I would imagine the band would probably attest to that. I don't want to speak for anybody, but I would imagine. And I look at the song again, like I said, there's that uphill vision and path that you could say, like maybe the story of restoration and salvation that Christian theology or biblical theology teaches. Um, that's echoed in the song in a different fashion. This is more, um, well, no, it's the same, to be fair. It, it, it's, it's like something you'd hear maybe in church, but creatively worded, where you, you have somebody uh, um, providing perspective on the state of life, and there's that, that call to a better future, right? And then the choice is ours, whether or not we follow along. I think it's, again, a great navigation, and in motion as well, you know, there's a good sentiment to this piece. I think in construction, it, it's uh, it's quite broad in its range. On feeling, on pacing, again, furrow music at riff, as far as I'm concerned, that, that uh, power emphasis, I love it. 
just chunky, especially on the outro effect on that. It was just wonderful on the music side and lyrically, it's a great balance. That's been the story of every Nine Lashes track we've listened to together. And I'm sure with the last single that we're wrapping up our journey thus far, though as I've said you know, previously, doors open as far as I'm concerned for Nine Lashes in the future. I'd love to hear more of their work and perhaps inspire uh, you know, new listeners if I can, if I can in any way manage this. Maybe you come from that angle. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on follow, um, as well as your angle of approach, as I said. Love to hear if you wish to disclose that. I think it's a good piece. Again, like I said, I love, I love the opportunity to spotlight Christian bands or develop that as to be an equal footing on secularized. Though I love plenty of secular artists. I mean, don't mistake me on that, because there's plenty of talents, broadly speaking. I really would like to bring the perspectives of not only my faith, but in essence to music. I, it's such a beautiful blend. I would love to bring that on in a grander focus on this channel and Nine Lashes is partly helping to do that. And with such exquisite tunes, I mean, they're a wonderful talent to showcase and perhaps inspire in terms of new fans. And I hope for many of you, that is the journey you take. Follow, I think, certainly triggers you to maybe look at the depth of the songs that they've produced. But it's a little more gentler on the rock side, granted, but it still has that, that heavy basis. Um, then, like I said, they got a pretty broad range. But lyrically speaking, that's very faithful to Nine Lashes. Very inspirational song of broad appeal. Real strength, in my opinion. That's been the story of every single wave humor thus far. And I'm sure with the last one to go, at least temporarily, that'll be the same story. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.